Right, welcome. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can build backlinks for free using ChatGPT. Now we're going to be building a specific type of backlink called niche edits. And before I show you how to do it, let me just tell you why we're building this type of backlink. So if you don't know, a niche edit is essentially a link right from a site to our site. This is my site. Okay. This is the site that has a link back to ours. Now, why is it called a niche edit, not just a regular backlink? Well, because a niche edit is a link, right, on a site, but on an old post, right? A post, for example, posted a year ago, right? While a guest post, for example, is a link created on a new post. So, for example, if I want a guest post, guest post backlink, sorry, I go to this same domain, right, to the same site, they produce a new post and they add a link to that post. That's a guest post. A niche edit, again, is a link on an old post on that, on that site. Now, niche edits and guest posts are both very powerful, but niche edits because they're posted on an already indexed post, old post with authority with links to it as well, right? Links, because these pages also get links. They tend to be more powerful. So again, if this is your site right here, your site, a niche edit is a link placed on an old post on an old site, and usually these posts have links back to it. So that's why niche edits tend to be more powerful than guest posts, okay? So that's why we're building it because it is the most powerful type of backlink you can build, right? People use it as an interchangeable name, so they use niche edit or link insertion. They're essentially the same thing, right? A link insertion because you're inserting the link in an already existing post, right? Again, guest post is the creation of a new post linking back to your site, okay? Now, again, guest post and niche edits are all both powerful, but again, if you can, I'll go for niche edits. So, again, you know the differences, you know what a niche edit is, you know what a guest post is. How do you build out these niche edits? Okay, well, the theory is quite simple. You just do outreach to sites where you want to place your link in, get in touch with them, they tell you your price or, or not, they might be free, and you get things going. Now, that's the theory. I'm going to go over that practice and we get it going. Now, before you do that, of course, you need to know how to find the best sites. I'm going to show you that as well. Okay, and so how to find sites is you, you use search prompts. Okay, I'm going to give you a list as well. There's a list down below in the description. So yeah, let's get this going again. I'm going to show you how to find the best sites using these search prompts that I'm going to give you a list for and how then to go out and do the outreach and leverage AI and ChatGPT to do this outreach for you. Okay, so yeah, let's get things going and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we're here. The first step you're going to want to do is write the following text in URL, write for us and then your niche, right? I'll leave a list in the description for a bunch of these prompts you can uh, use, because you can use different ones, you can use guest posts, you can use a bunch of them. I'll, again, I'll leave a link in the description for different ones, because different prompts will find you different sites. But for this video's sake, let's just go with this one, which is quite simple. So let's say your niche is lawyers. Let's do niche lawyer, okay? And then hit search. Now I'll go over what these little boxes are right here. Uh, they're called the Moz bar, but I'll go over that in just a second. But when you write this, here are a couple of sites, of course, not all, that in theory will allow you to write for them as the prompt says, right? So let's just take a look. And this is exactly how we do it, right? Let's see here. Okay, so this site is a lawyersource.com.au and they seem pretty credible, but we'll go over it but we'll go over the site, the traffic, and the metrics in just a second. But as you can see, right here, we find a guest post submission guidelines. Every single one of these sites should have some guidelines. The amount of words, the image you need to include in the post, no promotional content, whatever. Again, you can read all this. And then, of course, they have instructions on how to submit it. Super straightforward, just email this email. Okay, now let's say this one. This is another site. This one looks a bit more spammy. I see a bunch of ads. I see, yeah, this one looks a bit more, more spammy than the other one. It has a bunch of different categories, so this wouldn't be a site where you'd want to place a link on. Of course, you can look at the metrics right here, and this is where the most bar comes in. This is the freeway, because this is an because this is a free extension. Anyone can download this uh, this Chrome extension. That's what you can see here. Just go to moz.com or write moz bar. I can even show you moz bar, and it's a free extension which you can download for free, right? And basically, this allows you, if you're doing this for free, if you're not using a paid tool, which again, I'll explain to you in a second how how we do this with the paid tool. I'll you to see basically the metrics of these domains, right? But let's look for a couple of more ones. Let us see, uh, as you can see, PA39, DA59. This one looks like a good site, but again, yeah. As you can see, something to take note and you'll learn about this the more you do it, is that these sites that have a bunch of different categories are not the sites you wanna go for. 
because these sites are basically farming uh, paid posts, right? Because they have all the categories, they accept all the niches, they just want to make money, right? So I wouldn't go for these super generic sites, I would go for niche sites. Because after all, you're building niche edits, right? The site needs to be niche down. So there's three things you need to worry about. The site niche, the metrics, and if it gets traffic. Because of course, if you're having all this work, you want to make sure that the link is placed on a niche site, one with high metrics, and that on the page that your link will be placed, it is a page with traffic. And this is something you cannot really check for free, right? Using the Moz bar or any other tools, you cannot really check the traffic of a certain page for free. Not that I know of, to be honest. But this free way allows you to go very far, right? Allows you to find sites that are actually accepting guest posts. For example, this one, if you're in the lawyer niche, this one accepts uh, guest posts and niche edits. Allows you to find the metrics, but not the traffic. Now, this one, as we saw before, allows for guest posts. Of course, that when you're emailing them, you can ask them if they're willing to let you submit for a niche edit. So, for example, you go on their site, you find here an article, for example, about uh, whatever it is. Let me see if I can find something here in the blog. You message them saying, hi, listen, I, I saw this article. Of course, you know yourself that this article is getting some traffic. Um, you tell them, oh, I saw this article, looks great. What would be your pricing to let me include a link with an anchor here to back to my site? And some of them will tell you that they don't do that. They only do guest posts, but some of them will. This is, of course, a numbers game, right? And as I said before, it takes time, of course, doing all this manually, reaching out to the people, emailing them. It takes time, of course, but in the end, it's totally worth it. So again, this is the free way that allows you to find sites using these prompts. Again, I'll leave a link in the description where you have a bunch of these different prompts. Uh, it allows you to find the sites that are actually accepting guest posts or niche edits. It allows you to find out the metrics of the sites, 100% for free. But now I want to show you the paid way, which will allow you to find actual pages with traffic where you can put your links on. And even better, I'll go over a broken link building strategy you can use to oftentimes get links for free. So the paid method involves using Ahrefs and Ahrefs is kind of a pricey tool. I think the lowest package is around $100 per month, but uh, it's a super, super valuable tool and you can do a lot with it. But let's just go over how to find proper niche edit opportunities. So let's paste in here the site you were looking at before and let's see what it shows us. Now, there's two ways we can do this. So there's two ways how we can find pages on this site where we want to put links on. The first types of pages are pages that have strong backlink profiles, and the second types of pages are pages that have a lot of traffic. Now, of course, you wanna have a mix of both traffic and link juice, but sometimes it can happen that either you cannot find a page with both traffic and link juice, or that the site owners are not offering a page posting on certain types of pages that either have high traffic or high link juice or both right? If that makes sense. Now, first one, how do we find the pages on the site that have the most link juice? Just go on here and click best by links. And that will give you all the pages that the site has and sorted by the amount of links and the power of those links. Ahrefs can be a confusing tool if you're just looking at this for the first time. So I'll be brief. Uh, so let's say here, for example, this page right here has around a 183 uh, do follow links as a UR of nine. And overall, it's one of the top pages in this site for um, in regards to link juice, right? So what you do, you go here, look at the page, try to find and try to understand if this page is something or is a place where you'd want to insert a link to your site from. And uh, if your niche is a lawyer's, I would assume that this page would be great for you. But of course, this is yet another part of this manual outreach and manual link building is that you need to look at the pages and find out which ones best suit your site. If this one does, then you just simply do what we talked about before, just write, just get in touch with them. In this case, they even have a write for us page right here. Just get in touch with them, send them an email asking for their pricing, for their processes, describe what you want. Make sure that the email is short and straight to the point, right? This is very important because you don't want to have a bunch of fluff in the email that you're sending out, right? So that's a way you can find the best pages that have the best and strongest links on uh, a certain site because of course you want to place your link on the strongest pages now what if you wanted to find the pages that have the most traffic super simple you go to top pages scroll down and there you go here you have the top pages by traffic for example you can click on this one right here best immigration lawyer in brisbane 
and this would not be a page where you could insert a link maybe you could insert here a face of your uh lawyer's ceo on the of, of the company maybe if it is from brisbane i don't know but i guess you can be creative and try and insert here uh your link i mean all these links link out to this uh, lawyer firm so let me see if they are actually do follow or no follow let's see they are do follow so i would assume these lawyers most likely will be paying to be here not too sure i don't want to insinuate anything but i think you can see the opportunity here right you can see that this page is getting traffic and if you're a lawyer firm in brisbane you could ask them again you well, again you have to get in touch with them with the site owner to ask them the pricing for a feature over here and in this case because this is one of the top traffic pages you're not only getting link juice because this is a default link from the powerful site and this page is also powerful if you're not mistaken the page has let me see if i can find the i can't really find the metrics right now but but the thing here is that you're getting a link from a page that has great metrics from a site that has great metrics but a page that has a bunch of traffic so you could get people going through your website through this page so you have to play around and try to find a good balance between pages with traffic and pages with great metrics hopefully this video helped hopefully now you know exactly how to find proper link building opportunities through manual outreach whether there is niche edits or guest posts this video showed you exactly how you could do it right so i'm back uh for this part is where ChatGPT comes in right you're going to leverage ai and specific ChatGPT to craft your outreach message okay so let's say for example i wanted a link from this site right here let's say for example i wanted to have a link from these guys they also have a blog right i want a link from here because this site is somewhat powerful right as you see here has a dr of 41 right so what we do is we need absolutely need to give the uh, ai some context right because these sites get a ton of spam a ton of messages and you want to stand out so what you can do and i'll leave this prop down below is be featured on these these guys or on this site browse it and come up with a short and straight to the point outreach message to the site owner that conveys that I'm willing to pay for a featured article on their site. Now, you can play around with this, it's basic, right? But you can play around with this. And the reason why you give it context is because if, for example, the founder is public, right? It will give you automatically the name of the um, of this or the founder here in the message now this is super professional this will depend of course on how you want to convey yourself right you can play around with this and, and uh, give it some different prompts to shorten the message make it look a bit more casual right for example it's to corporate make it look more casual try to address the owner by the name if you can find it online okay now again you're gonna craft this message you're gonna you're gonna play with it and make it uh tailored to you right and so there we go um you couldn't find the name with a quick search it did search but you couldn't find the name of the of the owner not an issue right we still have it done right here and yeah you copy this message and send it over now don't worry too much about this right it's better you focus on the sites than on the message itself yes the message is important but if they are open to it the message you send isn't really that that important, right? Because the sites that aren't open to it, so the sites that really don't accept uh, links, guest posts, or niche edits, even if you send them like a, a great message, they will say no, right? Because they don't accept, accept this type of stuff. So yes, the message is, imp is important, but only to some extent, right? So don't waste, or don't invest too much time in this. The Your time is better invested in looking for the um, sites, looking for the pages, and trying to filter out and seeing, okay, do you think, or do I think these guys will accept the post? Because you don't want to be emailing people that you really, you really don't think they're going to accept the post, right? Because again, the people that don't accept, accept posts unless I accept links, don't, it doesn't matter if you pay them a million dollars or if you send them the best outreach message, message, sorry, they'll say no, okay? So don't spend too much time on this. Craft a, a nice short message. Leverage AI to do it for you because again, 
we have this tool, we have this technology that is AI, and it saves us so much time in doing outreach and in crafting these emails and making them look more persuasive, right? That you should be doing it, right? It is as, it is, it is as if it were your second brain, okay? So yeah, that's it. Moving on to the next part of the video. And finally, to finish off, and I almost forgot to mention this, is a way that you can leverage their broken backlinks to try and get a free link from them. So what does this mean? If you go on Ahrefs, you go here to broken links, and I do not have access to this because I'm not paying for the full high-end package. It is $200 per month, and for me, it's not really necessary for what I use Ahrefs for, but if you are willing to pay this much, or if you maybe use another different tool that gives you access to a site's broken links, what this basically does is it goes out, looks for all the pages on this site, say, say for example the blog page, looks for all the blog posts right here and tells you if there's any blog post that has a broken link, right? So for example, this linked to a 404 page or a broken link. What you then do is you get in touch with a website owner and tell them, hey, listen, I found that your, I read this article, it looks great. However, I found that there is a broken link on it. If you want to have here a great source where you can link out to in replacement to the source that's no longer working, and oftentimes they'll say, yes, sure, I mean, you're helping me out, you're giving me a new source, the other one is no longer valid, so it makes sense that I improve my site and make the links work. Some of them will ask you for money, but either way, it's a numbers game, like I said before, so it's always good uh, and worth a try, right? And that's basically it in regards to this secret, uh, quote-unquote, tactic uh, for uh, link building. Again, just find the broken links, get in touch with them, tell them that you found the broken link, tell them that you have a new source, maybe more valuable source to replace the old one that's no longer working, and see if they can do it for free. If not, see how much they ask for. And there you have it. So that's yet another way to leverage uh, a tool and leverage broken link building to build links to your site.